in a small town in the middle of Washington State, on a field inside a chain-linked fence, in a game fewer than a hundred people saw. A home run memorable not for the distance it traveled, or the game it decided, but for the meaning it carried. The last Saturday in April, the second game of a softball doubleheader between Central Washington and Western Oregon. Well, we were both neck and neck fighting for the conference championship. As a senior, this was Sarah Tukolsky's last chance to win a championship. She'd never hit a home run before, not in college, not in her life. A 5-2, I'm not very tall. Um, I, I'm more a line drive hitter. I don't hit for power. But in the top of the second inning, with two runners on, on the second pitch, that changed. I hit that pitch and it just went. <laughs> and we're just cheering and the runners are cheering as they round the base to head to home. And then I'm going, where's Sarah? In her excitement, Tukolsky failed to touch first base, so she quickly turned back. Her pivot like, just didn't pivot with her. And I heard her kind of yell, and she just dropped to the ground, and I was like, oh, no. Just fell immediately and was in a lot of pain. Just, you know, I tried to keep my legs straight, but I was in so much pain that I couldn't really keep still. Tukolsky, with a torn ACL, crawled back to first base. She was a long way from reaching home plate and keeping her first and only home run. When she got back to first base, she just, she laid there and she hugged on to first base. And then I, at that time, I was staring at the base and I go, what on earth are we going to do? And I turned the umpire standing right next to me. I said, what is the ruling if I put somebody in for Sarah? He said, it'll be a two-run single. If anybody would have on her team would have helped uh, Sarah, she would have been a called, uh, called out. That was the problem. None of Tukolsky's teammates were allowed to touch her. That's when Central Washington's Mallory Holtman, a player with more home runs than any other in conference history, a player for the opposing team, spoke up. I went to the home plate umpire and asked if we could pick her up and carry her, and he looked at me a little strange. And the umpire went and said, yes, you can do that. I'm still standing there in shock. I don't, I said, thank you so much. We asked her, so like, is it okay if we pick you up and carry you around the bases? And I say, yes, and you know, and say thank you. And she says, you, you hit the ball over the, the fence, you deserve it. For that reason only, because she deserved it, Holtman and Wallace began to carry the injured Tukolsky, stopping to touch her left foot on each base as the three made their way around the diamond. We actually started laughing because we were just wondering what this would look like to all the people in the stands. When I looked up, I, I didn't see, you know, giant like smiles and screams I saw emotion and tears and and people crying it's a great moment when someone has character to step up and do the right thing at the right time it's emotional you're proud be associated with those kids That's the first home run of the season for number eight, Sarah Tukolsky. The fact is, you know, I, I made my goal. I hit a home run, and um, yeah, it's my last at bat of my career, but I, you know, made my goal, so I'm proud of myself. Mallory Holtman, Liz Wallace, and the Central Washington team lost the game that day, 4-2. to two. Sarah Tukolsky lost the rest of her season and her career 
to a knee injury. But for the spirit of sportsmanship, a greater victory. Made on a long trot around the bases, a trip that truly touched them all. I have a lot of respect for her and put her in high regards, um, her and her teammates. And, you know, I can't thank her enough. Tom Rinaldi reporting. Yesterday, the final day of the season, Western Oregon won its first conference championship in softball in school history, and it will compete in the Division II regional playoffs later this week. One other note, beyond being linked forever by that home run, Sarah, Mallory, and Liz share something else in common. All three players, academic first team in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference.